Well, good morning, everybody. As you guys see, we are out on Lake Travis again. It is a really early morning. It's like, I don't even think, it's, it's got to be earlier than 640 right now. We're out here at Samuel's Lake House. Samuel's right behind me trying to flash a, a flashlight on me so we can get some better light here. But we're out here, guys. Um, last weekend did not pan out, unfortunately. Remember I was telling you guys we're going to go to Samuel's um, lease. We really didn't even get anything. Samuel actually did catch two fish, but I didn't even get hit. But yeah, guys, last weekend did not pan out. But as you guys can see, we're out here on Lake Travis now. This lake's already always been pretty nice to me too, so hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get, we'll be able to get some good fish. We have pretty much everything right now. I think we have some um, chicken liver for catfish, like some um, packed chicken liver, and then we have some um, night crawlers and try and catch some worms. And then also I've got some um, just bass tackle with me, so we're gonna pretty much try to catch everything today. Fish and bass tackle, and then we're gonna set up for carp and catfish because we got some corn stuff too. Because Samuel keeps freaking out because there's a carp back there, but <laughs> um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be a good day of fishing because we really need it. Early in the morning, we got all day to fish. Let's go get them, boys. All right, guys, with that, we're going to get ready to go. Let's get tied on. All right, guys, all of our stuff is good and ready to go. We've got got some chicken liver in the water, like stink bait style chicken liver. Got my other rods rigged up for bluegill. We're going to try and catch some bluegill here in a little while. But right now, I'm going to try and catch some bass. But yeah, guys, we're going to tie on a spinner bait here in just a second and um, really do some good bass fishing. Because what I've been seeing is I've seen a lot of bass busting on um, just anything from shad to bluegill out here. And, you know, a square bull crankbait doesn't dive nearly deep enough. I'm just going to, I already had this tied on. I'm going to go fish the rocks for a second with it. But, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a spinner bait on this, the stink bait and bluegill on the other ones. And we might try on some um, dead shad here in a little while as well. But All right, guys, everything's set up for the most part now. Got the spinner bait on. We're going to chuck that out there. We're probably going to catch some bluegill here in a little while, or at least try to, so that um, we can put them on for catfish. And also might rig up a, a rod for carp, too while we're waiting, but everything's pretty much set up now. Now we just gotta catch the fish. All right guys, we got a little shiner. We're gonna put this on real fast here. This will be the rod I'm gonna throw bluegill out on, but for now we're just gonna keep shiner on it until we can catch some bluegill. This isn't exactly the way you wanna hook these shiners, but I'm just gonna try and hook them for the back of the dorsal fin just cause this hook's so big already. If he dies, it's not all, not all that big of a deal. There's no way I'm gonna really cast this. That, that's about as much as I can get off of that. Yeah guys, we might have our first bite of the day guys. Might have a first bite of the day right now. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna let it eat. Someone's got it, dude. It's pretty, it feels pretty good. It's a bass. Yep, a little, little bass. Alright, I'll just grab him. Just mouth him. I don't want to. Risk anything? It's a little guy. Got him. There we go. That's a nice bass. Little guy, not a big one. Nice. He's pretty good. I mean, like... There we go, guys. Oh, that's a one and a half pounder. Hate that's on live bait. <laughs> God, bro, I can't find a way to stop catching him on live bait right now. Nice. You know what? I don't care though. All right, guys. There he is. First little fish of the day. Not a bad little guy. <laughs> Nothing like we were catching last weekend, but hey, he still works. Get him back. Well, folks, we're trying, but just absolutely nothing. I think it's been about probably close to four hours since I caught my last fish. Um, Samuel's not caught anything. Johnny, on the other hand, he has he's caught um, two fish lucky, so far. Lucky. Yeah. I just sat there. One <laughs> yeah, he's got a catfish and a bass. But um, 
Yeah, we're just really not getting hit at all. Oh, my rod's going off. My rod's going off over here. My rod's going off. It's going off. Got, got a fish. Riser. No, he dropped it. Oh, my God. Well, no, he never had it. He just, he, or he had it, but he, he dropped the base and just picked it up. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Of course he drops it as soon as I feel it. Dude, that guy. man. Minnow's not even been eaten. That was, like, actually, guys, just kind of coincidental because of where I was just filming, but I've actually not had a hit in, like, four hours, so that's real disappointing. If you guys can't tell, real disappointing, but keep trying. Definitely gonna keep trying. What's your bass mean? Got something. Got something. Got something. Oh, decent bass. It's actually a pretty decent one. Get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Let's go! Yeah, finally. That's a little better fish. Yes. You good, Samuel? God, that took all day, guys. That had to be at least four and a half hours between fish. That's a little bit better bass right there. I don't say so myself. That's a little bit better one for sure. That's like a two and a half. You want to take one for your portfolio or whatever? Um, I might. I gotta got get them off first. Oh, guys, that feels so good to finally get another fish. I saw it kind of just get slightly tapped. I went over there, walked over there, turned the camera on. I didn't even want to say anything because I jinxed it last two times. Felt them and just put a hard old hook set into them. There we go, guys. It's about a, probably about a two, I would say. Maybe he's a little under two. Look at that. Same. He's been beat up by something even bigger. Look at those lines on him. He must have gotten hurt. He must have gotten hurt when he was little. Cause you see those yep. right there. He's been bit up. I mean, he's he's healed, but he probably got hurt when he was little. He's gotten a little hurt right there. Okay. You want to smile and look at it, or you just want? Oh, I'm not gonna take a picture. Of <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna take a picture. Yeah. Thank the Lord we got one, guys. Thank the Lord, man. Such a struggle. I mean, it had to be at least four and a half hours between fish. God. Finally. Struggle is over, guys. Struggle's over. Get her back. Let's get her back. Well, guys, on that last fish note, that's about where we're going to end the video. Sorry it wasn't much action this one, only about two fish, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to make videos of what you have. Fortunately, I was planning on doing some more um, lure fishing this weekend because we didn't so much live bait, but it ended up being live bait again. But you know what? That's just what happens. It's fishing. We had fun, and we caught two good bass, which was nice, and then... Um, Samuel's grandfather's friend Johnny came out as well. I think I showed you guys he caught um, a bass and a catfish. I don't think I got him on film though. But yeah, guys, nonetheless, it was still a fun day. We had a lot of fun out here. Thank you to Samuel and his family for letting me come out here. You know, it wouldn't be possible without them. But hopefully, we can come out here again. Hopefully, we can catch more than two fish. This is now twice in a row we've caught two fish out here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like below and subscribe to Fishing Ticks if you are new. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time back out in the water.